Hello friends, it's Summer with HammondsNest.com and like I promised, I'm trying to bring you some cute and classy little Halloween decoration ideas in case you like to add that amongst your fall decor. So in case you can't tell what this is, this is a ceiling fan globe that I'm going to repurpose into some cute little ghost. I actually had these sitting on my shelf for a while. They're kind of staring at me like, hey, do something with me because I had replaced a ceiling fan in my home with a newer one. And so after I cleaned it up, and took all the dust and the dirt and the grime off. They were perfect for doing this. So I just took some matte black paint, uh, folk art to be specific. I think it's the color licorice, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just having fun freehanding some ghost faces. I think ghost faces are like the easiest thing in the world to paint. So hopefully, but if you needed some help, you could absolutely print out like a little template or something like that to help you. But this is just a simple, simple little makeover of these and a great way to reuse them. And so after I was done with the cute little faces I did, I decided to add some embellishments. I've got some ripped fabric here, a couple different plaids. I picked both of these prints up at Hobby Lobby in case you're interested. And I'm gonna make a couple different bows. I'm gonna make these cute little ghosts, uh, either like a little brother, sister, or a couple or whatever. They're just cute. There's gonna be a boy and a girl. And so I'm gonna get this one really, really tight. And I'm going to cut off the tails because I wanna make it a bow tie. So just a little bit of hot glue after I shape my bow, and there it goes. So this one's Little Mr. Ghost. <laughs> I feel like I need to give my, my youngest daughter loves to name all of our little characters around the house, whether it be like Easter or Christmas. I should let her give these little ghosts a name. And then this last uh, fabric I'm going to use to make a hair bow. And I'm going to leave the tails on it. So I'm trying to figure out kind of where to put it on her so that it angles just right and I end up kind of putting it to the left side a little bit, and I think it looks so cute. Now the best part, if you haven't thought about it yet, is to use flameless photos, or maybe some kind of fairy lights to light these up. So they have two different lives. During the day, they're so cute, the little ghost faces, and then a pretty glow at night. And if you keep watching, I'm gonna show you that at the very end, you'll see how cute they look while they're glowing in the dark. So there they are, how sweet. Like I said, I think these are just a great little touch. Um, within your fall decor if you like putting a few little Halloween touches and I hope that you're inspired maybe you already have some of these around in your stash or maybe you can find some at the thrift store very very I'm sure they wouldn't be very much at all and here's that dark glow look oh I hope you're inspired let me know what you think about these and if you plan on making some yourself I appreciate you hanging out and watching keep following along with Hammond's Nest for all kinds of crafty ideas have a good day bye-bye